Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Candy, and today we are doing this soft glam holiday look. Since it is the holiday, I thought I will switch it up with a few products. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, go ahead and stay tuned. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to be part of the Beauty by Candy fam. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first step we're going to go ahead and do is place the primer and the primer that I'm using is the Becca Cosmetics and once that has been placed all over the face I'm just going to go ahead and massage that in. Next to make sure that my skin stays nice and dry I'm going to go ahead and place my translucent powder and this powder is from Cover X and this is in the shade Deep. And I'm going to be using my beauty blender to go ahead and place it all over. And I'm pressing the powder into the skin to make sure that the excess oil um, goes to the translucent powder first. So I'm going to go ahead and place some illuminizing drops into my face. It is the holiday season for heaven's sake. So we are going to make sure that that face is glowing. I am using Sephora's and this is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. And this is in the shade Ultra Light. Go ahead and place my concealer. Next with the e.l.f. blending foundation brush that I have, I'm placing some more of those illuminated drops. And I'm going to go ahead and swirl that all over the face. Make sure that the concealer is actually patted on and then I kind of massage it into the skin. Now look at that glow. That is like without any foundation or anything. Like I literally could rock that as just my face. But you know. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, I was just doing my thing. And then I didn't even notice that the timer had went off. Or like it went off while I was doing my foundation. So you will see at the end. The foundation I'm using is MAC Cosmetics. And this is Matchmaker in the number 8. So I apologize that you didn't see me do that beforehand. I did do it. I just wasn't paying attention to the screen. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and contour my face. This is my one of my favorite sticks. Um, this is the Highlight and Contour Stick from Black Up Cosmetics. And this is in the shade number 4. Once it has been placed all over the face, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Next, to set my highlight, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to be using my contour powder which is from Sleek Cosmetics and this is also in the shade Deep.
Next I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and I'm just using a nice small brush to go ahead and contour the nose, make sure I get that really deep in there. And to set the remaining portions of my face and to also blend out the contour, I'm using my foundation mineral powder from Cover X and this is in the shade N100. And I'm using my big foundation brush from Morphe and I'm just going to apply that all over the face. Next, we're going to work on these eyebrows, these sparse little babies. Well, first, I need to pluck them because I got to say that I haven't plucked them in a minute. So we're going to pluck them first, and then we are going to be using the MAC Cosmetics Deep Brown Brunette Brow Gel. And I'm going to also be using my spoolie slash angle brush, and this is also from Morphe Cosmetics. If you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, I will link that tutorial down in the description box. And I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this whole shebang. Now that the eyebrows are done, we are going to work on the eyes. The first eyeshadow that we are using, and this is going to be going into the crease, kind of placing it right above the crease, is from MAC Cosmetics and this is in the shade Saddle and we are going to be using brush 224 for completing this look. Now we're going to go into my ColourPop Cosmetics and we are going to deepen that transition shade in the crease and we are going to be using the shade Popular Demand and I'm using the same MAC 224 brush Now to set the highlight or the glow of the portion of the eye, we are going to be using for Solly's Rose Gold Elixir and we are also going to be using the Sephora Illuminating Drops. We're going to mix those two together and we're going to use that as my shimmer or glow for the eyes. I'm kind of creating a halo eye, um, placing the shimmer right in the middle. And to deepen that highlight, I'm going to be using Too Faced Cosmetics in the Sweet Peach Palette. And this is in the shade Caramelized. We're going to place the mascara and I don't know the name for this mascara um, it's one of the mascaras that I got for my birthday so thanks Mac for that free mascara <laughs> but I don't know what the name is so I apologize I do know it's waterproof but I don't know the name Uh, so next we're going to use the highlight. I used my Anastasia Glow Kit and I believe I used Amber Sand to kind of still stay in within that rose goldy-ish glam look. And I'm using my fan brush from Sephora.
Next we're going to go ahead and place on the blush and I'm using the BH Duo Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. And the blush does not have a name on it but I am using the more mauve deep kind of burgundy-ish blush. And I'm using a Morphe blush brush to apply that. Now we're going to do our final steps which is doing the lips and the lip pencil that I'm using is from MAC Cosmetics as well. This is in the shade Hazelnut and I'm just going to go ahead and place that on the outer rims of my lips as well as outlining the lips. With this look, I did three different lip combos that you can do and I basically just added on top of them. I didn't remove any of the lipstick. So with the first lip combo, we are using NYX Lingerie and this is in the shade Honeymoon. Next we're going to use the second lip combo and the second lip combo that we're using it this is from Sephora and this is one of the first like major like repeat repeat of buying the same lip gloss. <laughs> this is in the shade Perfect Nude number 4 from Sephora. And the third and final lip color or combo that we're going to be using, we're going to be adding more gloss to that. And the gloss that I'm using is from Makeup Forever. And this is from the Artist Plexi Gloss. And this is in the number 100P. Alright guys, and this is the final look. It's really simple, really soft glam. It's nothing too harsh for the holidays, especially if you're going for a quick meet up with the friends or you're meeting up with the family at a nice little party or even for the office party and you don't want to kind of have that heavy dark makeup on. Really light, really simple, super fast to do. You don't have to do all three combos, but I just kind of like that kind of gloss and making sure that you look great. So I do appreciate you guys taking the time and watching this whole full video. If you did like it, you might as well go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As well, go ahead and subscribe because you're part of the fam now. You watched the whole video. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the love and support. You guys are amazing. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.